What if all Straw Hats fought Gear 5 Luffy together? Would they be able to defeat him, or would he absolutely crush them? Well, to better understand this, let's quickly see how each member would fare against their captain in battle. Is there any form of Luffy they can defeat individually, and is there any member that can defeat Gear 4 or Gear 5 Luffy? For example, Usopp has already fought Luffy once at Water 7, and we all know how that went for Straw Hat Sniper. Based on this, it's clear that pre-time skip Usopp has no chance against Luffy. But what about after the time skip? Does Usopp have any chance then? Well, not really. Although Usopp got noticeably stronger after his training and added pop greens into his arsenal, he still has no real chance of contending with Luffy. If the two did actually battle, the only thing Usopp could do is keep his distance and try to hit him with sniper shots. However, Luffy's observation hockey is way too advanced, and this wouldn't pose the slightest problem for him. You could argue that Usopp himself also has this type of hockey, but to be honest, I don't see a way that would help him in this matchup. I'll go as far as to say that current Usopp can't even defeat pre-time skip year two Luffy. I may be underestimating Usopp a bit here, but considering that Luffy managed to defeat Lueno and contend with Rob Lucci in this form, I just can't imagine Usopp defeating him. Luffy versus Chopper. Although it may not seem like it, Chopper has achieved some notable feats pre-time skip, like defeating Gadatsu and CP9 agent Kumadori. However, after the time skip, he suffered the same fate as Usopp, very slight power improvement and lagging behind his fellow crewmates. On top of that, the Straw Hats doctor has zero understanding of hockey, and there are no signs that he will learn it anytime soon. The only actual threat to Luffy would be his strongest transformation, Monster Point. But even then, can he do anything against his captain? Well, if it's pre-time skip Luffy and he isn't using any gears, sure, I think he'd be able to defeat him. Nevertheless, if Luffy activates gear 2, there is just no way Chopper could keep up with its speed. He'd be crushed in no time. Due to his endurance, he'd definitely be able to stay alive a bit longer than Usopp, but at the end of the day, he should just stick to being a doctor. Although Chopper couldn't contend with Luffy on his own, he'll definitely be much more useful at the end of the video when all Straw Hats engage Luffy together. Luffy versus Brook. Here is when things start to get interesting. When Brook was initially introduced, it seemed like he was just a weird, funny guy guy who couldn't fight at all, but that was far from the truth. Brook turned out to be a very experienced and strong swordsman. Well, not as strong as some of the legend of the series, but no small fry either. Most importantly, he is really experienced, as he was a pirate even before Gold D. Roger went out to the sea. So is there any form of Luffy he can defeat? Well, due to his incredible speed, I think he would actually be the first character on this list to hold his own against Luffy's pre-time skip transformations. Now, this doesn't mean he'll win for sure, but he definitely put up a great fight and survived far longer than the other characters so far. Of course, it goes without saying that Gear 4 Luffy would crush him in seconds. Luffy versus Nami. Nami being this high on this list might seem unrealistic, but if you really think about it, she has actually gotten pretty powerful recently. After the time skip, her main weapon, Climb Attack, got some very powerful upgrades, and recently it even became sentient, thanks to Zeus fusing with it and amplifying its power. Nami's greatest achievement is bringing down Ulti, a beast pirate worth 400 million bellies, proving just how strong she really became. So how would she fare against Luffy? Well, due to everything I mentioned so far, she should be able to defeat Luffy's pre time skip gear transformations. However, if you still don't believe this, just remember that Nami also knows Luffy's personality. And since he is not really the smartest guy out there, she probably managed to manipulate him to some extent and eventually defeat him. When it comes to Luffy's more powerful transformations, she stands absolutely no chance against them. Gear 4 and Gear 5 Luffy could defeat her in hundreds of ways, but the most interesting one would definitely be just to catch her Thunderbolt mid-flight and throw it back at her. Same as he did against Kaido. Okay, with Nami covered, we finally got to some of the strongest crew members, and it will be very interesting to see how they would stack against Luffy. Luffy versus Frankie. The shipwright of the crew, Frankie, spent the time skip researching and improving his inventions using schematics obtained from an old lab of Dr. Vegapunk. However, based on everything he has done since the time skip, he doesn't seem to have acquired any groundbreaking powers. Frankie is far more useful in a group battle as he can support his crewmates with his inventions, and if he had to fight Luffy on his own, it wouldn't be a great experience for him. Using General Frankie to protect himself and radical beams to attack from a long range, Frankie should be able to defeat Luffy's weaker forms. However, same as the other characters so far, he is not nearly strong enough to take on Gear 4 in battle. If Luffy was to fight him seriously, Frankie would be crushed. Luffy versus Robin. Robin's current bounty is almost 1 billion bellies, and while that's mostly due to her knowledge about poneglyphs, she isn't weak by any means. This is especially true after Wano, where she got a very strong power-up called Demonia Fleur, which enabled her to defeat Black Maria, who had a bounty of 480 million bellies. Same as Frankie, Robin should be able to defeat any pre-time skip version of Luffy relatively easily. In a battle against Gear 4 Luffy, she could briefly hold him down with multiple arms using her Devil Fruit and then slam 
slam him with the Fishman Karate technique. Admittedly, it would be quite difficult to subdue this version of Luffy, but if she ambushes him with enough arms, she should be able to land a few hits on him. It was revealed that she also knows how to create clones of herself, which would serve as a good way to distract Luffy. However, even with all of this, Robin doesn't really have a way to keep Luffy down permanently. So even if it takes him a bit more time, he'll easily defeat her. What's interesting is that a lot of Robin's abilities work really well in combination with other Straw Hats, so it'll surely be incredible to see how she will use them at the end of the video when all Straw Hats engage Gear 5 Luffy together. Luffy versus Jinbei. Jinbei is a master of Fishman Karate, a former warlord and the Knight of the Sea. Can he be the first character on the list to finally defeat Gear 4 Luffy? Despite not possessing any Devil Fruit powers, it's important to mention that Jinbei is the first character so far to have two types of hockey, armament and observation, which would greatly help him in his battle against Gear 4 Luffy. Furthermore, both of them have incredible endurance, with Luffy fighting Karakuri for 12 hours and Jinbei fighting Ace for five days straight. Based on this, it would surely be a long battle, with many injuries on both sides. But who wins at the end? Well, let's look at it like this. Luffy defeated Doflamingo in this form. Do you really think Jinbei would be able to do the same? Obviously not, and this is the main reason why I think Luffy would win at the end, but it definitely wouldn't be easy. Before we explain how Luffy's right-hand man would fare against him, let's first cover a battle between Luffy and Sanji. Sanji is Luffy's left-hand man, and the future Pirate King definitely shouldn't take this fight lightly. You all know how strong Sanji is, especially after Wano, where he learned his new powerful ability called Ifrit Jambe. He also managed to defeat Queen, one of the strongest members of the Beast Pirates, with a bounty of over 1 billion bellies. Due to his offensive fighting style, Sanji would engage Luffy immediately and start dealing serious damage with his kicks. Also, since Sanji is arguably the fastest crew member, Gear 4 Luffy would have a very hard time dodging his attacks. Luffy would most likely have to fight in his Boundman variation in order to survive some of Sanji's powerful kicks. One more important thing about the fourth gear is that it significantly affects Luffy's body. This means that if Sanji can stay alive until Luffy reaches his limit, he could easily finish him off since Luffy would be completely defenseless. So can Sanji pull it off? Is he the first straw hat to defeat Gear 4 Luffy? Yes! I think Sanji could achieve this with mid to high difficulty, but unfortunately, that's exactly where Sanji's luck ends, as when Luffy enters his newest Gear 5 form, he would absolutely crush him. There is no way Sanji can even remotely contend with this beast. He would lose in mere minutes. Luffy versus Zoro. Zoro is, without a doubt, the second strongest member of the Straw Hat crew. He is also the only character in the crew besides Luffy to have all three types of hockey. Zoro did some incredible things in Wano, like blocking Emperor's combined attack, injuring Kaido, and even defeating King. He is surely the one who will give Luffy the absolute toughest fight so far. And there is one important reason for this. Since Zoro uses swords and cutting attacks to fight, he is Luffy's natural weakness. Using his three sword style, each of Zoro's attacks would be deadly for Luffy, and he'd have no other option than to dodge every single one. Undoubtedly, Zoro can defeat every single version of Luffy before Wano. This also includes Gear 4 Luffy, who, for the reasons we previously mentioned, shouldn't pose that much of a problem for current Zoro. So what about the Sun God Luffy? Can our favorite swordsman do anything against him? Well, yes and no. Firstly, it's important to mention that Luffy is still vulnerable to cutting attacks even in this godly form, and if Zoro can find some openings, he actually has a good chance of dealing some damage to him. However, even if Zoro has a few things going his way in this fight, Luffy's abilities in this form are just too ridiculous for our swordsmen to handle. Luffy wins this low to mid difficulty, but definitely not without some injuries. Luffy versus the Straw Hats. All right, as you've seen so far, no single crew member has a chance of defeating Luffy, but what if all of them attacked Gear 5 Luffy together? Who would be victorious in this epic matchup? The closest to a full team up against one individual the Straw Hats ever had was against Oars on Thriller Bark. Although each member was considerably weaker than they currently are, this team up showcased their incredible teamwork and chemistry. Something that would further help them in this fight is the fact they are all familiar with most of Luffy's fighting styles, meaning they could plan and prepare a strategy beforehand. Most of you probably forgot about this, but Straw Hats have one technique that can put Gear 5 Luffy down in a matter of seconds. Which one, you may ask? Giant Robot Big Emperor. Of course, this all depends on if Robin will go through with it this time. Okay, in all seriousness, leading the charge would obviously be Zoro, Sanji, and Jinbei. They would probably attack from three different angles to confuse Luffy and make it harder for him to dodge. Brooke and Frankie could act similarly, but instead of close combat, they could use radical beam and chilling sword attacks and not give Luffy any time to rest. While all this is happening, Nami, Chopper, and Robin will watch closely and try to spot some of Luffy's weak points. In case Luffy transforms into a giant using his new abilities, Monster Point Chopper, Gen 
General Frankie and Robin's gigantic fluor should be able to hold him down. Okay, so the best contender to land the finishing blow on Luffy would obviously be Zoro, since as we already mentioned, his fighting style is really good against Luffy's fruit. However, this won't be easy, and it would require Straw Hats to weaken Luffy significantly and hold him down for at least a few seconds. This would make an opening for Zoro to land a precise finishing strike with his new sword, Enma. So, can they manage to pull this off? Well, based on everything these characters achieve throughout the show, I am certain they would manage to do it. Some of the weaker members may lose their life in the process, but in the end, Luffy will be defeated by his crew, and there is not much he can do to avoid it. Click on this video where we explained 52 secret things you didn't know about One Piece. Go on, click it.